Hi, I'm Bobby Rydell, and I'm here to talk about my new book, my autobiography, Teen Idol on the Rocks. Wild one, gonna tame you down. Wild one, gonna get you yet, you bet. Well, you know, I've traveled on the road, you know, lo these many years, and of course, after a show, uh, you sit and you talk with people, and of course, invariably, invariably, a lot of stories come up. And it's been for the past, I don't know, maybe five, six, maybe even more, closer to ten years, they would say, Bobby, you have so many great stories, why don't you write a book? Like, eh, who wants to read a book about me? Are you kidding? Get out now, you know. Anyway, uh, make a long story short, about two years ago, my wife said, you should seriously think about sitting down and writing your autobiography. So I called up a friend of mine, his name is Alan Slutsky, and I got together with Alan and we sat for 18 months and I just kind of like poured my heart, out, my heart out to him. I went up to Frank Jr. I said, Frank, I said, thank you ever so much for saying all those nice things about me, about, you know, uh, me being your favorite singer. And Frank Jr. said, I never said that. He said, yes, you did. I remember you. He says, no, no, no. He said, my father said that. <laughs> I said, well, gee, you know, not to say anything against you, Frank, I know, but it, that sounds really nice coming from Mr. Old Blue Eyes as well. It's a nice thing to, to uh, reflect back on and uh, to have uh, something quoted like that by Mr. Sinatra. I was uh, touring on a bus with a young lady by the name of Helen Shapiro was a real fine singer in the UK and we were on a bus and there was a car in front of us and she said they're the Beatles and I started looking around the bus for, the bus for you know roaches cockroaches I didn't know what a be you know or a beetle I, you know, I, I thought that they were a band that was going to be gigging somewhere at a nightclub you know a cafe uh, a dance you know something like that and I said goodbye you know and now, now I go home and it's 1964 and I'm, I'm in my house and I'm watching Ed Sullivan and all of a sudden here come the Beatles. And I looked and I said, I met those guys in the middle of the UK at night, somewhere between Liverpool, Blackpool, Walthamstow, I don't know. And I can kick myself in the rear for not taking a picture because who now? I mean, it was a band, you know, nobody knew they were going to become what they became. What a great picture that would have been, you know, to have a picture in the middle of the UK, in the middle of the night with the Beatles on the bus. That would have been marvelous. Missed it. <laughs>